Revelation 3424. A. From the 1st and the 2nd of February 1945. Higher Development. Construction, Activity. Destruction betrays decline. A progressive development must also be recognizable, for it will always express itself in a constructive way, never in a destructive way. Whether it is a question of works of creation in nature or the results of human creativity, it will always be possible to determine a purely external progress, which is equal to a constructive activity. Where, on the other hand, destruction or annihilation become recognizable, spiritual decline can also be concluded without hesitation, but this is only possible in the human stage, whereas progress, that is upward development, can always be recorded in the works of creation in nature. Progress, that is upward development, can be recorded, because even the apparent destruction or annihilation, which was not brought about by human will, results in the emergence of new creations in a higher degree of maturity, thus purely externally progress can also be recognized. But the human being can also accomplish works which by no means signify higher development, which never promote the development of the human being but rather put it at a disadvantage. These are the works which lack all love, which, even if they seem to build up, only pursue the opposite of destroying or supporting a general chaos. Accordingly, every work can be examined for its value before God, and afterwards the spiritual state of maturity can also be recognized and judged at any time. Everything a person does should be considered under the mirror of neighborly love. It must serve the fellow human being or other creations for preservation or procreation, it must be active neighborly love in the true sense of the word. And this will always mean spiritual higher development. But where neighborly love is not practiced, people's works will also show decay or complete destruction and consequently not betray any spiritual progress either. Amen.